Hey, hey, Queen City Gaming fans, welcome back, folks. So today, guys, on our episode of Conquest, The Last Argon of Kings, we're going over the Spire Force Grown Drones. Now, if you want to pick up some Force Grown Drones for your own uh, armies out there, make sure you go to the Parabellum e-store, use Queen City as your checkout code, and get 10% off your final purchase. Remember, all purchases help this channel grow and expand. Now, folks, if you're really wondering why you should add these drones to your force. These are really going to be the backbone of your Spire army. They're a light choice. So they help push that line forward in the beginning, as well as they make a good anvil unit to soak up those early hits early in the game. And they make amazing character bunkers just because of the number of stands you get. But to truly learn about this unit, let's go into the profile and see what these guys bring to the table. All right, so folks, when we look into the unit profile for the Force Grown Drones, nothing really stands out a whole lot. They're a light infantry unit with ones pretty much all the way across the board, but they do have shield with support one. Now, where this unit really shines is getting buffs from things around them. They really take your Pharomancies and your Biomancies to the extreme and can really help with survivability as well as regeneration with this. Now, this unit can be taken by... Uh, pretty much almost every character in the Spire faction, which is really good for playability and gives you a lot of value because of how many different times you're going to take this unit. Usually you see these units anywhere from sometimes three for light blocker units if you just want to come up enemy lines, or if you want to make a good character bunker, you could even see up to five stands or more. I've seen a battle report where they had 20 stands of force grown drones in one single unit, which is an insane amount of models. Now, they do have support 1, so you are getting extra attacks for additional ranks in the back. And, with shield, they are defense 2 when they get hit on the front. Now, let's look into some of the command upgrades you get in this unit. So, the first thing to remember with this unit, you don't get a leader like traditional uh, light units. Instead, you have a model that counts as both your leader and your banner, which makes it easier for your command stand. Now, we also have the Catabolic Node. So when we look into the Catabolic Node, the Catabolic Node, guys, is a living bomb. Okay, so the first time the unit clashes, you roll 2d6, okay? And then you inflict that many hits on the enemy regiment uh, that is in contact with your force grown drones. It also inflicts the num uh, number of hits on the regiment it's in. So you are gonna take some damage from this, but it is equal to the highest score of the 2d6 rolled. So if you roll a 6 and a 2, the enemy is going to take 8 hits and you're going to take 6 hits. So you're really hoping for like a high number like 11, which really pumps some damage in there. But this is going to be really big and really help the output of your force grown drone unit. And it's super neat. And remember guys, once the catapult node goes off, you can replace him with a regular um, Spire model. Uh, from your Force Grown Drone set. So, super cool, and in fact, we're gonna unbox this guy later this week, so make sure you check around for that video. All right, guys, so my overall thoughts of the Force Grown Drones. This unit is gonna be one of the first things I'm gonna give an A rank to. It's not perfect, but it's a fantastic unit. It has seen some points increases in the 1.5 edition rules, but overall, guys, this is gonna be a unit you're gonna see in every single Spire faction, in every single way of playing. It's a mainstay unit for most characters in the game with Inspire, except for the Lineage Highborn. And they also take buffs and heals really well from your Pharomancer and your Biomancer, and they make fantastic character bunkers for your Pharomancer and your Biomancer as well. So guys, you're gonna see these on the table and you need to be careful of them because if you underestimate them, they are really gonna hurt you bad, especially when the Biomancer activates his supremacy ability to give them a ton of additional attacks. And then you also activate other decay events and things like that. And it's gonna be just a absolute powerhouse coming towards you. So overall, guys, and my final thoughts, this is a really good unit. Go out and get yours today, guys. Or if you're wanting to start Age of, or uh, not Age of Sigmar, if you're wanting to start Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings, come and look at the starter set. So the starter set does come with six stands of horse-grown drones, which is a perfect start to your force. And we do have videos on these unboxing them. So guys, go check those out.
Alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining us here at Queen City Gaming. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stick around for some fantastic more Conquest content. This is Vanguard J, signing out folks.